Let me know we have sound when you guys can hear me. I still see nobody in the room, but I see some people here on the left, on my left, your right, my left, your right. You don't see the people, maybe I do. You'd be on your right if you're watching on your screen. Knight Rider, Chris Atkins, Pooch, what's happening? We got good sound? Sound is good. Raul, Raul Rada. You need to get with me next week, man. I'll be next two weeks. Next, I'm going to get a lot of interviews done. I'd like to have you back up talking about your experiences. Let's talk about this. <clears throat> what doesn't make any sense to me is with Saudi Arabia losing a large capacity oil refinery. Baghdad, Bob, Tom, Tommy, Childry, thanks for being here. For losing that, now, crude oil and water production, the production side of the oil field, the wells are already built, they're already drilled, the fracking's already taking place, and it's just pumping out of the ground. Those jobs have not slowed down, and they are, they are fairly recession-proof. Let me adjust my, you didn't, producer, you didn't adjust my camera. Let's get that straightened out next time. Um, so crude oil hauling and water hauling on the production side, it's already coming out of the ground. That's not going to slow down as much as the, the pre-production, you know, finding the sites, starting to drill the sites, doing all that, the frack sanding, that's, gonna, that's already slowed down and it's going to keep on slowing down. But let me, let me tell you this. Let me ask you this. And I'm going to share some information, but I can't share a lot because it'll affect what you're watching now. So some of you guys and girls need to do your own research. All this little drama we got going on in Washington, D.C. If you knew that, how do I say this without affecting everything? We know that Biden and his son were already involved. Biden's son was getting 50 grand a month from one of the Ukrainian companies. We know that Ukraine's a, a serious connection to everything that happened before Trump got in office and while he was first getting in office. But Biden's son was already getting that money. That's, that's, and he got one point some billion dollars from China after that. After he got kicked out of the military for drugs, for pharmaceuticals, actually found a crack pipe and crack in his car. This is all, this is all, this is not, this is not Red Viking just tarnishing Biden's name. It's all true. He got kicked out dishonorably out of the, out of the Navy, I believe he was in. Then he gets this job on the Russian board of a company, $50,000 a month, and then he gets a one point some billion dollar uh, some money from the Chinese government. Anyway, who else was on those boards? Who else? Does anybody know? Does anybody know who else's sons were on those boards? Does anybody know? I'm going to sit here and wait to see if you guys know. Because it explains a lot about why they're attacking Trump so hard for saying, hey, we want to... Uh, you know, check into all these dealings before I got an office and they're just losing their minds because it's going to expose a lot. Anybody know? Whitey Bulger? Nope, it wasn't Whitey Bulger. I have been told, though, that the mafia control still controls all the, uh, the U.S. Um, casinos and that the CIA controls the Indian reservation casinos. That's what I've been told. That's what I've read. That's what I've researched. I'm doing my research to finalize all that truth or not. But anyway, who? Josh Randall, I don't see the super chat, Josh. And by the way, Scribe, if you're watching now or later, thank you for the last couple super chats. I appreciate that. I will do a live stream call in when I'm home on, on the break a couple times. Got some great interviews coming up. Great interviews. No, listen, man, listen. I'm not going to wait because I want to get this done. We know Biden's son. We already know. Dead to rights. Biden and his son were, his son got let out of the military dishonorably, put on a, on a Ukrainian company, $50,000 a month. He got a pay raise for getting a dishonorable discharge and for using drugs. Pelosi's son, do your own research. Don't believe Red Viking. Always take whatever I tell you and do your own research. Mitt Romney has a family connection to all that. Why do you think they're losing their minds? Because Trump is over the target. He's over the target. Pelosi's son was also involved in that. Still is. Losing their minds. Subpoenas flying. We're going to get you for this, get you for that. All Trump did was say, hey, listen, all the, you know, I'm seeing a lot of paper trails. Would you guys help us investigate this? Oh, you're breaking federal laws. Huh. 
Did you guys know that Hillary Clinton's brother, they used to call Haiti the jewel of the Caribbean. That's what it used to be called because of all the wealth of natural resources. I believe diamonds, oil. Did you know that Hillary Clinton's brother got the contract and got, he's like, he got the, the, his company took all that over during that period that she was in office. Did you guys know that? Anyway. Let's talk about this. We've been on the petrodollar trading scale for a long time. In other words, everything that gets traded for oil worldwide was it was a petrodollar that the U.S. controlled. So we got big off of that worldwide. If oil will change hands, the U.S. benefited worldwide. Euros, there's two companies right now. I'm not going to tell you which two companies. It's going to take some homework, Red Viking Trucker, Werewolf Trucker, uh, nation. It's going to take some homework. Which two countries right now are in the process of switching to Euro dollars to trade oil? Now, let me tell you this. And do your research again. Don't believe me. Do your own research. Just listen to what I'm saying. Go, hey, I don't like what he's saying. Let me go check it. We had just given Libya billions of dollars in aid before we chose to go get Gaddafi out of power. What was Gaddafi in the process of doing with Saudi Arabia? Anybody know? I'm going to help you because I don't have time to wait. <laughs> I don't have time to wait. He was in the process of switching how he traded oil with Saudi Arabia into euros. He was in the process of doing that. He had telegraphed his punch. And he was in the process of doing that when we, now we had just given his country billions of dollars of aid six, eight months before we got there and claimed he needed to be removed from power. We're all, we're all playing at such a low level. We are all playing at such a low level. You don't understand. I put a link. I put a link in the description of this video from Zero Hedge, zerohedge.com. It's a phenomenal article about one of the companies that's currently switching to euros to trade oil. It's going to be a huge issue for the United States. Massive, huge issue. Somebody's getting pulled over for drunk driving. It is a Friday night. It's a little bit early. Starts to happen right now all the time. So I've been just curious why the oil fields haven't really cranked up the way I was expecting after what happened in Saudi Arabia. Then you're watching, I'm watching some of the analysts because I, again, I do my research. I try, I'm not trying, I'm not worried. Listen, I'm not worried about just driving a tractor trailer, you know? I don't have to worry about doing this job. This job is super, super easy. Cameraman, you're still not getting this shot in. I need you to really pay attention over here. Um, I try to pay attention to everything because there's moves to make if you can see the future a little bit, just a little bit through some transparent things that are happening. If you just open your eyes, there's moves to make. And I've been wondering why the oil fields haven't really just cranked up and then you watch the analysts that are on the uh the news networks the state-run media that are talking about how they're projecting crude oil to keep dropping keep dropping the crude oil prices they're bearish they are bearish that's what i put in the in the description the six thousand pound gorilla i should have put six thousand pound bear they are bearish on crude oil Saying it's going to still keep on dropping. I'm thinking, why is that? And let me tell you, when you think about the fact, and I didn't know this until a couple, you know, quite a few years back, I didn't know that Gaddafi was in the process of uh, transitioning to euros to trade his oil. I had no idea. And then we magically, after giving him billions of dollars a day, you can research that when he was taken out that year, just, just before that six, nine months, billions of dollars of aid from the United States went to his country. And then we decide he's a, he's a threat. What the threat is, is transitioning to Euro dollars to trade oil versus the U.S. petrodollar. That's going to cause, that's going to cause more chaos than what's going on in Washington, D.C. right now. The administration's over the target. These guys are losing their minds. Losing their minds. 
And then you realize that not just Biden's son, who was dishonorably discharged the same year he was picked up by this board in Ukraine. Pelosi's son is involved in all that. She's, he's over there. And so was so were members of Mitt Romney's family. Stunning. We're playing at such a low level. We're believing this. We're believing what we're told. A lot of us don't. I mean, some of you guys don't care. That's fine. I do. I do. As I've gotten more mature, because I'm 39 this year, I'll turn 40 this year coming up. I've just, my eyes have come awake so much, so much, so much. And then you think about, it actually blocked off the intersection, whatever happened. Must be bad. And then you think about with all the chaos and all the tensions and all, you can feel the pressure building in the country. You can feel it. And what's the quickest, what's the quickest way to get the economy roaring again? Go to war. Go to war. And I will, you'll hear it here on Red Viking Trucker, Werewolf Trucker's channel first. If these two countries completely switch to euros to trade their oil, pay attention. Because they're going to need something to galvanize the United States to galvanize the debt slaves that we are. They're going to need something to, to happen to galvanize us, to decide, let's go handle this and send our, our, our young people into a battle that they don't even know why they're there. Well, there's like six cop cars right here. They might be coming to get me because I'm divulging stuff on the channel that could be, you know, I might be getting a knock from the NSA tonight. It's crazy, like six or eight cop cars to the left of me, about 25 yards, pulling traffic over, blocking it. But that's, that's the stream for tonight. Open your eyes. Going to war wouldn't be a bad thing for us as truck drivers. A guy wrote a, a, guy wrote a post, a, an army guy wrote a post. He was on the ground. He was infantry. And he wrote a post that the, Afghanistani, the Afghani war, he said... Our strategy, and this is at the very start when they didn't realize how many IEDs had been placed in all these different places that they were patrolling. And he said, the strategy is to have us walk until we either find the enemy or find all the locations of the IEDs by everybody getting blown up. And somebody took that, that, that thing he wrote and they put some video footage of a troop of, I say a troop, but a, whatever the, the squad, the squad of army guys walking through the fields. And he had a couple different clips, whoever put it together. And you see them starting to walk and then you hear this boom and then you hear somebody screaming. And then he cuts and does another clip and you see them walking across this field and you hear boom and then you hear somebody, one of our guys screaming. And then you think about that comment that that's how we were to find the enemy. We were to walk and patrol until we either contacted him or until we found out where all the IEDs were by stepping on them. That's a horrifying, when you watch that video, it's horrifying. It's horrifying, but it's all true. <laughs> There's like 10 cop cars here. I didn't know they had many cop cars in this town. I'm going to get rocking and rolling. Do the research. There's two companies, right? Two, two countries, two companies, <laughs> two countries that are currently in the process of switching to euros, euros to trade oil. That's going to be a huge issue for the U.S. It'd be a great thing if we go to war for us. Horrible thing for the young people. But there is there is proof. If you look on Zero Hedge and look at the just you type in uh, Euro dollars to trade oil. One of the strategies of the global mindset is for the destabilization and the uh, devaluing of the U.S. dollar. And they've been working on that for about. 10 years and this would everything that's happening right now including those two countries would be a huge devaluation to the u.s dollar huge this is crazy i'm front row seat to 12 cop cars i'm gonna rock and roll red viking werewolf trucker nation i do go back and read the comments i cannot see super chats describe thank you the other gentleman who threw the super super chat i appreciate it i get ketos i'm actually on my third keto of the night Hustle, intensity, focus, and respect, and I'm getting back to hauling. And I shouldn't do this too loud because they're over there. They might come ask what's going on. How? 